Today, I will show you if running jockey is actually worth using. This is the most common question I get asked. There are some people on YouTube claiming that you should be doing speed jockey and stuff like that. Okay, now let me clear this thing once and for all. Guys, I will teach you things that will be hard. Yes, I teach you things that are hard, but they will pay off once you do them. You need to know the difference between speed jockey and the gas brake technique. Now, let me show you when do I use the gas brake technique now you can see on the controller okay right now i am using the r2 button with parkweta to come closer okay look i am only using the r2 button to come closer now understand this thing and you will see what i mean okay i never tell you to use the l2 button alone i never tell you to use the l2 button alone this is close this is close okay and this is parkweta on the ball now i am holding which button the r2 button why am i holding the r2 button because he is further away from me and there is a lot of gap between me and him so how will i cover the space by only holding the r2 button okay now that i've covered the space look now with theo i am doing the running jockey why am i doing the running jockey with theo okay let me explain this to you once and for all why am i doing the running jockey with theo hernandez as of right now because i have told you another tutorial as well whenever i'm trying to intercept a pass this he might be able to make this pass i'm intercepting this pass okay when i'm trying to intercept passes in the midfield or on the wing i always use the running jockey right i will always use the running jockey look I am using the running jockey like you can see and I am marking this pass into Juniola. But if I were to go 1v1, let's assume I was two steps closer over here. Okay, if I was over here, then I will use the gas brake technique which you can see even right now in a while. Look, the moment I will come closer, I will start using the normal technique. Now, why do we use the normal technique? No matter what anyone tells you, Speed jockey is speed jockey and normal jockey is normal jockey. That is the visible difference. If you do not have the skill right now to anticipate where your opponent is going to go because with gas and brake technique, you need anticipation. You need to be able to predict where your opponent is going and then you move your left stick accordingly, right? If he takes a step too further away from you, then you'll quickly let go of L2 and hold R2, right? But you need to know if he's going to do let's say the la croqueta or is he gonna do the ball roll whatever is he gonna do like look at me right now okay i am using l2 and trying to intercept both of his passes right and now i switch and now i'm using l2 because i am able to get the ball just because of this little switch so this is the way to defend on fifa 22 it is hard it will take you time it will take you practice but believe me if you are playing a top player if you want to become a top player then just using this nor just using this technique of speed jockey in 1v1 will not help you because the good players they will butcher you in this example you can see the opponent is going away from me because now he is going away from me look at the button i am gonna hold okay i am gonna hold the r2 button because he is going away from me if you can have the vision to understand when he is going away look now with theo hernandez which button am i holding r2 and i'm running back and i'm able to get the ball back so these are the two buttons that we use r2 to run l2 to get in shape and get into the position to jockey and be able to maneuver left right left right and be able to stand our ground if we see they are going away look at me in the camera we just run and when we get close we stand right now with speed jockey yes you can control it if you caress the stick talking about caressing who was the first guy who told you about caressing and how it you know affects the maneuverability of your players in fifa then i if you watch my channel then you know right so what happens yes you will be able to have better control if you caress the technique but at the same time even then you will be off balance because you are still in that running motion right once you let go of that r2 button you will have more control over your player and you'll be able to defend much better caress the technique in the normal breaking technique the l2 jockey technique then it is even better speed jockey use it only when intercepting passes or use it in the attacking half if you use it if you use it in the attacking half what happens even if you lose the ball it is fine it's okay but defending 1v1 in your own half if they get past your defender it's done it's a goal so watch this video again and again 
and also watch this video right here to understand gas and brake technique in depth until next time it's me king sunny out pay attention to what i say and you will be successful